Okay, rolling. Jen, Lucia came over to show me the belt that you ordered because it was my Cosmo design and I insisted on wearing it. How old is Sam? He's 10. 10. So Sam is at the age that I would encourage people, and I think in general on any bird, even when someone gets it and it's a year old and it's a new pet, it's a good idea to get baseline blood work. And what that means is you get a small amount of blood and we run it to get kidney values, liver values, white blood cell counts, and we just want to get a baseline. And the reason is, is, you know, with cats and dogs, it's very well established what the normals are. For birds and between different bird species, it varies a lot. So it helps us when they're sick to interpret their lab values to figure out what's going on. So I encourage bird owners to get blood work done every year to every other year throughout the entire life of the bird because they hide the signs of their illness until they're really sick. So if we do wellness blood works when they're fine, then we can often find things before they become a problem. And the way we do that is we actually take a small blood sample from their jugular, their jugular vein in their neck. That sounds terrifying. Usually, and that might be a good one to cut to you, get you being like, <laughs> when I say that. I think I broke their heart. Yes. So um, we're going to look at his ears. Did you know your birdie has ears? Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Under his arms. So right there, he's got a little hole on the side of his head. No ear lobes. Okay, so no nope. ear piercings no piercing. for you. So we look at the symmetry of their nostrils, making sure that they're the same size, there's no discharge. We also look at the feathers around the, the nares. These are called the nares. And the sear right here, the fleshy part. Because if there's crusted fur, I mean feathers there, then that's a sign that there's been nasal discharge and the bird's sick. And a lot of owners won't notice that. So that looks fine. No worries. Okay? A lot of little cockatiels too get boogers in their nose. Because <laughs> um, they have all this dried powder down and they get debris there. And actually, um, he looks quite good. Okay? So we look at the beak. We make sure it's symmetrical. Um, there's not any cracks. That looks good. We we'll look inside the roof of the mouth. And do you see that little slit on the roof of the mouth? Uh-huh. Okay. You mean where it's it goes where from it's pink. pink to beak? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the roof of their mouth, what is their soft palate, um, they have a little area that are called the coena. And that's where they breathe, and it's part of their respiratory tract. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. So we're going to next feel the crop. And the crop is just a, like a sac that's in the esophagus. And that stores food so that they always have food available because of their high metabolisms. It's empty when you've been eating. So I'm going to look at his feet, make sure there's no swollen joints. That all looks good. And I'm going to look at his little tush area. So I'm going to, uh, feeling his abdomen. That all feels good. And then this area, right, this patch right here is where his cloaca is. This is where he goes to the bathroom. There's a little hole there. I'm going to pinch it. Little kissy sounds. So that's the cloaca. And that's where all the urine and poop it's adjoining a common area for the reproductive tract, the urinary tract, and the digestive tract. Okay? And that all looks clean and perfect. Now we're going to check the wings. The feathers are all ruffled. Okay, so that looks good. You're okay, Sammies. Let go. Okay, so that all looks good. So he's full flight, so this is a bird that can fly. You don't need to trim your bird's wings. Some people do for more of a training type of thing. Even a bird with trimmed wings shouldn't be wandering around outside on their own. It's actually, did you clip on this side? No, he's molting. Mm -hmm. All of his primary feathers, these are his fl flight feathers right here. These have all molted, which means they shed, and now they're going to grow new ones out. Okay, so right now he's probably not flying very well. It's going to be very lopsided. Okay, a little hard. Very fast but very normal, and his breathing sounds fine as well. So that's perfect. Very healthy. The one thing I, I am noticing, remember how I said before a bird should be really, you know, slicked back, feathers and everything else? So the fact that I just did all that to him and he's seeming a little kind of fluffed and tired, you know, it, it's hard to know for sure, but it puts just a little flag of concern to me as a doctor that 
you know, he just knows what I just did to him, so he doesn't want me to do it again, so he should be up and alert and, like, ready to go away. And instead he's kind of tired, he's kind of doing this, so it makes me wonder if, you know, if something is kind of lurking there and he's not feeling well, because a normal bird should be able to handle all of that and be fine. So the fluffed upness means, means he's, he's not, not alert. He's not feeling well. Oh, really? Yeah. So it can mean they're cold, or it can mean they're sick and they're not feeling well. Can we see okay. if I hold him if it changes? I was just going to say that because he slipped back when you grabbed him before. Come here, baby boy. Come here. Mm -hmm. Let's sit there with him for a second and see. You're okay. Because it's not that cold in here, right? No. I mean, it's not like... It's but he never has this much... He's been, like, out of it's his cage and traveling and... Stress. Like, stress. all this... Yeah, for hours now. It's, he never does this. You're okay. He likes to sleep on my lips. Okay. So it's hard to say it does seem a lot better with you. What I'd say is this, sometimes too when they're molting, it takes a bit out of a bird to molt. So sometimes, you know, his wing's a little bit more sensitive, that kind of thing. So. Um, why don't you just, just watch him over the next couple of weeks and pay attention. Mm -hmm. If you feel like he's sitting there fluffed up more than he typically is, or he's not doing as much of his normal like play activities, mm -hmm. um, then give me a call and definitely we'll come down and we'll, we'll do the stuff. Okay. okay. He's had a lot of stuff going on for him today, so let's just give him a break. One time, um, this was like six years ago when he first came here, he, he was in his cage and I walked, I walked past his cage and I went, Sam has a weird look on his face. He wasn't puffed up, he wasn't red, there was nothing weird about him that other people noticed. I just noticed like a different mood in his eye or something like that. Just a different look. Yeah. And I brought him here and he ended up having a little upper respiratory infection. He'd get little drops in his nose and then he was fine. That's the only time he'd been sick in his whole life. But it was weird to me that I could actually notice you that notice. in a bird face. Because they don't seem to have expressions, but I guess they do. You don't even realize that you learn them over time. Yeah, for me as a veterinarian, I have to really trust my clients because the owners sometimes, mm -hmm. like, I'll think the animal looks fine, but the owners are like, no, something is wrong. And they're right. like, but everything's fine. There's, and they insist. There's, and it's like, you know your animal. Yeah. There's something wrong, then there's something mm -hmm. wrong. So, you know, that's something that's I very, very important. He seems he okay. Needs a rest. I think he's just tired. Yeah. Well, birds need to sleep a lot, too. They need about 12 hours of sleep. A day. A lot. You probably yeah. keep them up a lot, I would think, with your late night activities and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm a party hardy. <laughs> you go to bed, you know, six o'clock, six, seven, eight at night. I don't sleep. Yeah. Does he need his nails or his wing? Uh, uh, no, Definitely not the wings trimmed. His beak. Um, his beak. They don't need to have their beaks trimmed. Um, we could smooth out his little irregularity if it, it, it would be more of an aesthetic thing, and I think because of him, it's not necessary, and he's tired. Yeah. His nails. Um, they're kind of on the upper limits of being a little bit long. Um, I think what I'd say today, because he's tired, let's he's not do it. Okay. Um, if it's either cutting your hand or he's getting stuck on things. Oh, I just want him to be healthy. Yeah. are really healthy.